Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up on FST News, a shocking statistic has many people wondering whether our country is as advanced in education as we thought. Also get a closer look at one international charity and what they're doing to help loved ones in need. All this and more today on FST News. Today is Friday, January 27th. I'm Amanda Leek. Sadie's is coming up quick and tickets are only getting more expensive. Today is the last day of Super Sale Week. Tickets are being sold for $10 outside of the cafeteria. Tickets won't be sold again until the week of Sadie's for $15 and will be sold for $20 at the door. So make sure you pick up yours before the prices rise. Sadie's is on February 10th this year from 7 to 10 p.m. in the gym and the theme for this year is Luau. If your club or organization is looking to make some money, you should consider signing up for a Sadie's booth. To sign up for a Sadie's booth, email foothillsadies at nv.ccsd.net or talk to Summer Reyes in room 722. According to dosomething.org, every 26 seconds a student will drop out of high school. That's a pretty scary statistic. What can we do to change it? Well, FST News' Ryan Henriksen is here to tell us more. The United States is often regarded as the land of success. But when it comes to our education system, we are far from it. The United States ranks 26th out of 34 participating countries. We are worse than 75% of other countries despite spending roughly $12,000 per student, more than nearly every other country. How is it we spend more than most other countries yet rank worse than 75% of other leading nations? Principal Lisa Burkett gives us her insight on the issue. I think we need to kind of do a mind shift in really celebrating the positive things that are happening. We've come a long way, and I think the tendency for media is to always focus on the things that we're not doing right instead of focusing on the things that are, we are doing right. Is how we reward students' success the issue? According to a study in 2014, only 9% of students achieved top-level scores in mathematics. Likewise, 55% of students in Shanghai achieved the same scores or better. Even those 9% of U.S. students are two years behind those of Shanghai students. Finland is often considered an excellent school system. They score in the top three for mathematics and reading in studies since 2013. Teachers are adaptive to many different learning styles that cater to a wider variety of students. Maybe shorter days with more classes that cater to individual needs are the way to go. Any way you look at it, there's no question that something needs to change in the United States education system if we want to be a world leader. Everybody needs help at some point, now and, then the, and now and again, and Foothill is always offering help. If you need help in math, tutoring is always available Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays in room 718, 718 from 1.30 to 2.30. No matter where you go, there will always be people in need. Luckily, there are many charity organizations around the world that dedicate lots of time and energy into helping those people. FST News' Julian Bichard takes us inside on how Goodwill is making a difference. Imagine not having a job, sleeping in a box, and struggling to go through each passing day. Fortunately, there are many organizations trying to help. Goodwill International is one company that anyone can turn to. Goodwill gets approximately 260 million items donated every day. With the profit of these items, they were able to help out 2,500 people get jobs last year. Director of Community Affairs Walter Lascano tells us the mission of Goodwill. The mission of Goodwill is to help people with employment, training, and education. People with and without disabilities can come to Goodwill and we can help them get the job they're dreaming of. Lascano also said that donating goods can be anything that you can think of, from brand new items to used goods, household things, clothing, and kitchenware. Goodwill does not make profit from their stores. Any dollar or donation they receive goes back into their programs. When Goodwill can't make use of a donated item, they recycle it. Goodwill is a growing company. Right now, they have 150 stores globally. You can help them expand by volunteering or donating to your local Goodwill today. Speaking of expansion, there will be a new store on Boulder coming in spring of 2017. 
Thanks, Julian. For more information on Goodwill and the opportunities they offer, you can visit FSTNews.com and click on the link titled Goodwill under the tab Local News. And now joining us in the studio for an update on all things fun going on in our hometown of Henderson is FST News' Jocelyn Perez. Good morning, Jocelyn. Good morning, Amanda. This week's Henderson Happenings event is Cosmic Swim tonight at the Henderson Multi-Generational Indoor Pool. From 6 to 8.30 p.m., for $5 you, a person, you can listen to music, dive for glow gear, swim in crazy cosmic swimming races, or just relax poolside and watch how the water changes to a kaleidoscope of cool colors. For more information on all of these events, you can go to fstnews.com and type Henderson Happenings into the search bar. Back to you, Amanda. Sit back and think of all the problems with your surroundings, but it takes real leaders to come up with solutions. There's a student advisory committee meeting in the library on Tuesday the 31st. Take this opportunity to discuss any issues you might have with the school and also offer up ideas to help make things better. At the meeting, students are addressing the new student union, painting the school, the 4As, link crew, and the denial of credit. All students are invited and pizza and drinks will be served. For seniors that plan on attending college, free money probably sounds pretty great right now. If you are a student that plans on attending college, you can start looking for scholarships by going to foothillhenderson.com and clicking on the College and Scholarship tab. From there, you can find lots of great info to help you find scholarships from many great organizations, one of which is the, uh, includes the Green Ambassador Program. They are joining with CCSD, recycling vendors, and others to help offer up to eight scholarships that are worth $500 each for any seniors that have any interest and want to take action in any environmental programs, clubs, or more. To qualify, seniors must apply by March 10th, be a CCSD senior, complete the application, complete a one-page essay, and submit a copy of your official transcript. To apply for a scholarship, seniors, you can go to fstnews.com and type Green Ambassador Program into the search bar. Coming up after the breaks, Foothill sports teams are doing their best to defend the hill and our titles. Get caught up on the latest games. We'll be right back. Oh, really? Yeah. I was gonna ask him too. Oh. Do you wanna go to Sadie's with me? Um, I was actually gonna ask Sean to Sadie's. Sean, do you wanna go with me? Oh. Okay. Welcome back. Last night, our boys and girls basketball teams took on the Silverado Skyhawks, and the game was everything but dull. The night started out with our JV girls facing off against the Gators. The first half of the game ended in a close score of 19-16, with our Falcons leading. Then they blew the Gators off the courts with a final score of 48-28. Another big win came when our JV boys beat Green Valley with a score of 71 to 57. Our Falcons luck got even better later in the night when our varsity girls won their game 62 to 30. The night finished with our varsity boys taking the final win 84 to 63. 
Our basketball teams are taking on the Skyhawks again on Monday. The boys face off against Silverado at their school. JV starts at 3.30 and varsity starts at 6.30. The girls are also facing off against Silverado on their turf. JV starts at 3.30 and varsity starts at 5. The battle with the Skyhawks doesn't end with basketball. Our flag football team is facing off against Silverado on Monday at Silverado High School. JV starts at 3.30 and varsity starts at 4.30. The girls are also facing off against our rival school, Basic, on Thursday, February 9th here at the Hill. There will be a coffee truck giving free coffee to any student who has their student ID. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, Foothill. Remember to have a fun and safe weekend, and we'll see you next week.